They said it couldn't be done. They said it shouldn't be done. They were wrong. We're here to talk about, briefly, the best way to title your book, your course, any information product. This is, in fact, the last word. I would like to take complete credit for this, but I won't because I can't. What I will do is point out that this is the essential way to decide exactly how to position your product for your audience. Credit goes to Tony Ulwick, the author of What Customers Want and the creator of the Jobs to Be Done framework. I first learned about this in an article from Harvard Business Review. It is the best way to title anything and subtitle it as well. Here's what I mean. Jobs to Be Done theory goes like this. Customers buy tools to get jobs done for them. There are functional jobs. I want to lose weight. I want to write a book. There are emotional jobs related to those functional jobs. I want to feel great fitting into my high school jeans. I want to feel like an authority by having the best book written that I possibly can. And there's a financial component to it as well. Basically, I mean, is the is the price point I'm getting this for, is it worth it? Does it make sense? Yeah, I could get those jobs done, but is it a tool that I, I perceive is going to be the right one to spend money on? Or should I not use any tool at all? Now, the point of tools and jobs, think of your information product, your book, your course, as a tool to get a job done. And I'm going to read you something directly from Tony Ulwick's work. When blank, I want to blank so I can blank. Think about this for a second. When I want to get the word out about my business and my brand, I want to create epic content so I can get noticed by people who count. So I'm going to write a book. See how that works? Let's choose something that is, um, oh, pain related, health, wellness. When I feel like total crap after the day, I want to feel a lot better and make the pain go away so I can feel like myself again, get back to my routine. What's that? CBD oil is a great way to do this. Oh, there's meditation, there's hypnosis, there's all these other things. So the point of that is understanding exactly what your tool and your job are and what the, what the, what the match there is that's made in heaven, so to speak. Now, what does that have to do with titling and subtitling? Well, think of your title as the only shot you have to describe your tool to get a job done for customers. And I want to reference uh, a friend of mine. His name is David A. Fields. Um, he's considered the leading consultant for consultants. Basically, if you want to start a, and run a consulting business, he's got to talk to. He and I did a special um, uh, webinar a few uh, a few months ago. We're going to do another one here in a few weeks. Uh, the spots will be limited, so look for that. Anyway, David has a book called the Irresistible Consultant's Guide to Getting High Value Clients. That is pretty clearly a tool to get a functional, emotional, and financial job done, just as Tony Ulwick describes, right? Okay, it's a guide, right? So the function is I'm going to get clients, and I want to get high value clients, not more clients. I get clients faster. David in the book teaches you how to get six-figure consulting clients, hence high value. Therefore, is it worth 20 bucks to buy that book to get six-figure clients? Uh, yeah, it is. It is the best-reviewed, most-sold book in history on the business of consulting. And David's book is. So he knows what he's doing. What about the emotional aspect of it? What's the emotional value here of this tool? Well, irresistible consultant. That makes you feel really good, doesn't it? That means your pitch, your presentation, they literally cannot say no. You're not pushing yourself. Rather, the clients are pushing themselves on you. Think about every self-help book that sells buku copies, the audiobooks you listen to, the podcasts you listen to. The reason you invest time and or money is you perceive that there's something in that content that is going to help you get jobs done in your life. 
This Periscope, this Twitter Live broadcast is one of them. This is in fact a tool to get a job done and dozens of people have watched this, probably hundreds of people have watched this because they perceive that this is a way to get the job done of titling their book or their course. So what I'm telling you is don't try to get clever with your naming. Think about exactly what jobs you help get done for your customer, the person who's gonna be consuming your book's content or your course. I often see the mistake that course creators and authors describe their process or their framework, but they don't actually describe what jobs they get done. They focus on the tool. One of the examples that Tony Olick uses is the polyurethane wheels. Look at my amazing polyurethane wheels um, on my skateboard that I want to use to do really cool, slick tricks on my skateboard. They don't care about the polyurethane wheels. They want to be able to get a skateboard that they can trust will help them do the skating tricks that they want to do. So to avoid the biggest mistake with naming that's out there, focus less on all the cool aspects and features of your unique framework or your method or whatever, and focus on the outcomes that it creates for people. The best way to subtitle this, anything, course, book, anything, is three. The rule of three. So you can have your title, whatever you want to do it, followed by three things. A good example of this is um, the book, the New York Times bestseller, The $100 Startup. The subtitle of The $100 Startup is something to the effect of break free from the nine to five, earn your own living, and create a new life. Three things, emotional, functional, and financial value are all present in the subtitle. So as you think about the course you're working on, the book you've been wondering, is anyone actually gonna buy this thing, should I write it? Title it, subtitle it, so that what you're helping your reader, your student do, is so obvious they cannot miss it. This is called product market copy fit. At least that's what I call it. And the copy part of this is titling your tool so that it is ridiculously obvious not only what important jobs for customers you get done but the fact that they're going to get a lot more value out of it than what they're paying for it and that it's worth way more than 20 bucks for the book or 99 dollars for the course or eight hours that's the average it takes to consume a nonfiction book nowadays do that and you have found the best way to title it and if you're wondering, do I have this right? Is this what Joshua means? Reply to this, direct message me, DMs open. We will get you the best title for your product you could possibly get.